So the Rose Dale Freedom Project is an after-school, out-of-school program that is modeled after the 1964 Freedom Schools. And a lot of those Freedom Schools were hubs of organizing and activity for years. For many young people in the U.S. South, in the rural South, the schoolhouse is maybe one of the few places where they can gather and be in community with other young people in a way that's like structured around learning. Whatever interests young people are bringing in, we're typically able to create some kind of a space of learning around that. We can do all this stuff here and say, okay, well, we're a restorative space. And then they go to school every day and they're having not that experience. If students are experiencing that on a day to day. Then when they come to the Freedom School and we talk about it, sometimes it can feel kind of like pie in the sky. So the idea of the educator fund was to, to take what I think is like some incredible learning that our young people and educators here at the Freedom Project have done and to try to share that with educators outside of the Freedom Project so that it can be changed in the schools. What I think about restorative justice is that it gives not only students but adults a framework to repair harm in their community. One of the main things we do is peace circles where we are bringing in different students. It could either be uh, one student who has harmed the community by not following through on the agreements. And then when that happened, we're not just talking to that student and me as the site director or the adults in the building, we're actually like, reaching into the community. Something I did notice with the community agreements was like, the well, my students in particular are more engaged to follow them. And it really grounds them because they set those agreements. Those aren't things that I enforce upon them. They were things that they set up themselves and it's something that they set as a community to abide by. So it kind of like makes them follow their own rules because in a sense they're in control of themselves. It's not me controlling them because they know they've set these expectations for themselves. Being a part of the educator fund and being able to communicate with parents and families and fellows that like, hey, there's, there's this broader organization that's really invested in the work that y'all are doing has has really given that work some some legitimacy and given them I think a sense that like this is really radical stuff it's grounded and rooted in a broader movement in a movement that's been going on for a while for social justice work to really be effective it needs to be happening in communities on the ground it's really important to be pulled out of an abstraction and into a out of an intellectual frame of mind and into relationships and communities where it's actually making a difference the south is is the place for that to happen Free, free, free.